Hi everyone, Officer UFO1 here recording another tutorial for my YouTube Creator Studio. Thanks for joining me. And uh, this time we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to install uh, Albo 1125's Police Smart Radio. And I normally don't uh, I haven't showed uh, how to install install any of Albo 1125 stuff um, yet because he already ha uh, has great tutorials available and he, uh, his readmes and stuff like that are very um, accurate and easy to follow. Uh, he is the leader in script mods uh, as far as a, a script mod creator. Today we'll, I'll show you how to install Elbow 1125's um, Police Smart Radio and you can pretty much install all of his stuff. It's pretty much the same way. So this will be a quick one. You don't need OpenIV and uh, so I went to the LSPDFR website uh, and don't worry I will leave a link for the uh, download in the in the description but if you just come down it shows popular authors and right at the top number one is Elbow 1125 so we'll click on him we'll download it he gives you a couple of uh, options we're gonna download the uh, the police smart radio though we don't want the button template click save I'm gonna go to my downloads and we'll go under P for Police Smart Radio. Uh, we're going to right click, we're going to click on Properties, we're going to click on Block, Apply, and then OK. And uh, double click it, open it up. Click on this one, Grand Theft Auto 5. Double click it, open it up. I'm going to minimize this page. Drag it, oops, drag it over here. Now you need to get to your GTA 5 uh, main directory, which I can tell you a trick on how to do that. The easiest way to find your GTA 5 main directory is to make a shortcut for your game on the desktop like I did here. And then once you have a shortcut uh, for the game on the desktop, you just right click on the shortcut, open file location, and it brings you right into the GTA 5 main directory. And This has all the correct licenses, permissions, and stuff like that. And then if you click the up arrow, it shows you the closed folder. So um, basically what you want to do is with the elbow 1125 common dot DLL, you left click, right click, copy, click copy, and then left click, right click, and then click paste and paste it into your, your GTA 5 uh, folder. Um, now, if you might have an older one, uh, if you do, um, just it'll ask you if you want to replace. Click replace. Um, here's the plugins folder that's in your GTA 5 main directory. Directory, click on it, open it up, and the rest of this. Click on um, plugins here. This is the download open it up and you'll see this is the LSPDFR folder open that up and we need to put these three things in into this LSPDFR folder that's located inside of your plugins folder remember uh, don't get it confused with this lowercase LSPDFR folder that's different so we're gonna click on plugins open it up and this LSPDFR folder here this is where we're gonna put these three things so um, um, I'm not gonna do the police smart radio I'll just do the vocal dispatch and the uh, police smart radio dot DLL because if I do the police smart radio it's gonna mess up all the configuration settings that I've changed but um, I'll do vocal dispatch for you and then uh, so you just left click and then right click uh, copy go to LSPDFR here left click right click select paste and then um, it should just go right over there but if you already have uh, an older uh, Police Smart Radio and you're updating it, just select Replace and it will update it. Uh, we'll do the Police Smart Radio dot DLL, left click and then right click, select Copy over here to the LSPDFR folder, left click, right click, paste. And again, uh, if, you don't, if you've never had the um, Police Smart Radio before, it'll just go in there, but if you have like an older version or, or you're updating it or something, it'll ask you if you want to replace the file in the destination, just, just select Replace. And again, uh, do the same thing with this Police Smart Radio, um, f just like we just did with these two. And again, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess up my configuration settings. And just briefly, uh, I'll show you what I mean by configuration settings. So we're going to close this. This is the download. If you open this up, LSPDFR and now Police Smart Radio, 
here's your config uh, configuration settings. You can click on that, open it up, and uh, like you can controller configurations. I have it on none uh, for the toggle the radio button and toggle radio modifier. I have on none, and I have these two on none. Select button I have for A. Now for some reason he puts the X uh, as the default, which is weird because you normally don't select something with X, and he's been changing a lot of the buttons around and stuff so uh, I don't know why he just started doing that but um these are what I have um, but basically you can open this up and see which buttons do what and then you can leave them the way they are if you want or you can change them if they conflict and these it, he tells you like what you can do here what you can put in and, and how to do it as far as changing the buttons um, and then keyboard configuration I change that as well the default, um, oh, just back to this real quick, um, controller config. The default toggle radio button was left on the D-pad, and if you have the police search script mod, um, that's for police search left on the D-pad. And also the G button is for police search. So um, it was, I was having what they call a key, bind, key binding issue, or a key conflict so that's why I switched this to none so it doesn't conflict with my police search in other words so that when I don't pop up my radio I'm also searching whoever's near me or whatever vehicles near me and uh, keyboard config um, I forget which key he had on there but I didn't like it it was a key binding issue so I switched it to Z Z was a key that wasn't being used at all on my keyboard so I can toggle the radio now with the Z key and uh, so that you can see this is just my personal uh, configuration settings but again you can set them to how you want and that's it folks um, we'll fire the game up and I'll just show you quickly uh, police, the police smart radio ok everyone I'm back and uh, oh wow it sounds like a police helicopter is taking off from the roof let's just I want to take a quick look at that I forgot that you can um, they actually do take off from this roof I thought it was just the one um, Oh, I can't even see it. It must have went, like, directly the other direction. Uh, I thought it was just the one in, in, um... I don't even remember the location now. Vinewood or something like that? Vinewood PD? I forget. Anyway, uh, so I'll show you the, uh, Police Smart Radio. So what you do is, um, to load, uh, the plugins and stuff, like, for example, Elbow 1125's plugins and this Police Smart Radio, just go F4 on the keyboard. Um, so, uh, type in the letter F. Click on Force Duty, and then Enter. Once it starts loading, it just click F4 to get out of the menu. Might take a second. There we go, it's loading, so I'll click F4, get out of the menu. You'll see all my script mods are loading. Hero Cop, Code 3 Callouts, uh, ALPR Plus, Traffic Pleaser, Rest Manager, Assorted Callouts. LSPFR plus police smart radio. There we go. So, um, just I don't want to get any interruptions, so I'm just gonna make it so I'm not available for calls. Basically, though, um, uh, the default button I believe for the key uh, f for the controller is left on the D-pad. Uh, again, I disabled that. I don't like that because I that's my police search button, and I'll just show you right here. Here's police search. I'm gonna get some equipment out of the back of this. Actually, I think I disabled it for police search too, because I don't like having anything left on the D-pad. So police search, I have it for G. But I was having a, a key binding conflict before with the police smart radio and police search. So, uh, but the default uh, controller button is left on the D-pad for um, for the police smart radio, and I forget what the default key is. You could look it up the way I showed you though. Um, I switched it to um, Z on the keyboard, so I'll pull it up now. And here it is, you can see the Police Smart Radio, and uh, you can check plates, uh, hit a panic button, a panic button will um, cause officers to come help you out real quick. Tow truck. So, um, I'll just show you real quick. I'll run the plate on, on my cruiser here. It's Ocean 2, run this uh, plate for me. 
And you don't really have to say that, I just do it for effect. Um, uh, if you have vocal dispatch, um, then you can actually communicate back and forth with um, with dispatch. But for, you just you can just click it on the police smart radio. Um, they're not going to run the plate though, because it's a police vehicle, it seems. Um, but uh, I will hit the panic button. I'll show you. Hector 13, currently heading to the location. So you can hear the police coming right away. Roger that. We're on our way. Ocean one in route. Oh, here they come. Yeah, so they're going to come and back me up. Actually, they're after somebody. Okay, here's my backup. But he's getting out way over there. Hey, buddy, I'm over here. And uh, let's see, we got one car coming, two cars coming, three cars coming. So they all came. Look at the people, oh my goodness, look at the people uh, speeding. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to wrap this up, folks. Um, I hope I helped you out. Uh, I hope you liked it. If I was able to help you, um, please subscribe or click like. If you do, I'll give you a shout-out in one of my upcoming patrol videos. Thanks for watching.